In the third chapter of the Gospel according to John, we can find two strong statements that is that are very important in the church today, I would say. The first one is the need to be born again, I would say, uh, a concept very popular for our friend in the South. And the second one came from uh, verse 16 that says, uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. And all the attention are on those two IDs, especially on the last one that I named, 316, to the point that sometimes we believe that all this meeting that happened with between Jesus and Nicodemus, because that's the context of those uh, verses, serve only to highlight these verses, like I said. But the rest of the verses, the rest of the story are very interest is very interesting. For example, the following uh, verse, 317, says, Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world may be saved through Him. And there's so much in this verse that need our attention. One, uh, God sent his Christ into the world, for the world. Not just for those who believe in, in Christ and decide to follow Christ, and no, to all the world. God loves all the world and sent Christ to all the world. And two, and I think that's the most important point here, God's agenda is not to condemn individual people or the world or so on, but to help, to support, to save us. And that's the part we often forget, we Christian, Because, let's be honest, we are sometimes the champion of judging others in the name of God. Our faith tells us this, and if you're not doing this, well, you're a bad person, and so and so, you will burn in hell. And we can be mean, we can be nasty. And we're told that that's not the point. Christ, Jesus, came into our life to reflect love, not judgment. And this opportunity for salvation is like, like, I said Christ, a little later in the text, speak about the light. Not to be surprised by this uh, usage of this word, because light and darkness are one of the central theme in the Gospel according to John. In the prologue, God, uh, it's clear that this, the, the first verses that sometimes people find it bizarre, but most likely it's a very old hymn that God sent the light into this world. It's the same, uh, the fourth gospel is also when Jesus says, I am the world, the light of the world. It's always present. And what we understand is that this light, the Son of God, Christ, is all powerful. And in the same time, we are given the choice. And that's also very interesting. We can walk to this light, accept Jesus' message, live, living according to the great principle he came to teach us, and, and to be in the light is not like uh, we need to be in the light in order to be accepted. It's the other way around. It's because we are in this light that we act the way we act. We have the value we have. So that's one option. The second option is stay in darkness and continue to do in darkness and continue with, with your life and so on. And the choice is ours. 
And that's, that's incredible. These two options, the light and the darkness, and it's not about, once again, uh, being the, the light and be rewarded in the future or stay in darkness and you will suffer from eternal damnation in the future. It's about today. Today, the choice is ours. And the question is, what kind of life do we want to live? And it's a very essential question that all of us can ask ourselves. What would be my value? What my decision? What, what world I want to build around me? And as we're walking toward Good Friday and Easter morning, the question we're asked is, do we want to live in the tenebrae and death, the Good Friday, or the dawn of a new world on Easter morning? It's so related to one another. Do we want to look all the thing about negative and suffering? Or we want to believe in hope, resurrection, new chance. And the choice is ours. It's not God that decides you belong there, you belong there. It's not up to the minister to decide who is who is the good person and who is, you know, damn and, and cannot be forgiven. It's all about us. We have the option in front of us. And God say, walk to the light. I invite you, but I'm not going to force you. You will have to make your decision for yourself. So that's one of the key points that we need to remember in this time of land for the rest of our lives. The choice is ours. Thank you for watching. I remain Reverend Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man, and until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.